Hey guys, welcome back to Project Commons. What we're going to be talking about today on our episode of How and Why is intake upgrades. And are they really worth all the hype that they get? Is upgrading such things as this stock intake elbow into a more streamlined elbow, is it really worth it? Am I getting the bang for my buck? Well, let's get to the drawing board and maybe I can help some of you out. Okay, so to begin this, we're going to have to start here at the beginning. What I have is the combustion pie chart. And yes, I know my writing isn't very good. But in the pie chart, we have air in the form of oxygen, heat in the form of compression, and then fuel in the form of diesel. Without any one of these three components, we do not have combustion in our diesel engines. But oxygen isn't the only thing that's in our air supply. Our air supply is usually made up of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen and 1% other gases such as boron, carbon dioxide, water vapor, and maybe some other things such as like dust. The goal of just about any bolt-on part these days is to increase oxygen or actually to increase mass and air density. Now what this does, like a turbocharger, puts more oxygen into the cylinder by, by compacting the mass. Well, we can also take advantage of a natural aspect, which is that molecules at colder temperatures uh, will, will come together and, and compact compared to a harder temperature. And this example that I have here for you is, if it was zero degrees outside, and let's say we could, we could uh, blow up a piece of air, we could see that the molecules will be tightly together, all bumping, all bumping against each other in a tight, compacted area. Whereas if it was 100 degrees outside, all the molecules will be racing around uh, trying to get away from each other in very loose quantities. Okay, so now that we understand that air molecules can bind closer together as it gets colder, we want to take this to our advantage and get that cold air to our engine as fast as possible. So what we need to do is decrease all the turbulence that we can from our intake system. And your intake system from start to finish, you know, includes your air filter box, your turbo, your boost tubes, your intercooler, your uh, intake elbow. I mean, it involves everything. But just for the example, we're just going to focus on the intake elbow. The stock intake elbow, like I showed you earlier, has those bottlenecking effects here. And what that does is when you have all this air, this, this wonderful cold air coming in, and that bottlenecking effect, it squeezes it and has a lot of uh, low pressure areas on the other side of that bottlenecking. So what that does is it creates an air separation or an air bubble with inside. And what this does is it, it, it mixes up the air, slowing it down, or in other words, it gives it a lot of turbulency. It's not very streamlined anymore. It's not going as fast as anymore because it has all the bends and twists to go through. And bottlenecking is just really not helping it out. What even makes it worse is that this is actually an elbow. The elbow itself, after I can't draw the, the bottlenecking there, but if you can imagine from back here, after the bottlenecking, it then has this 90 degree elbow. So we have air that's coming in, it's getting all fucked up, and then it has to go down, which means it's making another air bubble right here on this curve, because that's a very, very sharp corner to go, it's 90 degrees down. Whereas an upgraded elbow, we have a much more streamlined, completely open interior. What this does is it lets it flow a lot easier and the bend since we don't have a, a quick 90 degree will flow a lot easier in towards the cell. Okay so that in a nutshell is the whole point of this video is that making things more streamlined makes them more efficient and like I said many times before the higher the efficiency is the more power you're gonna get especially with air because air has oxygen and oxygen to to a fire or to our fuel is an accelerant it, it oxygen is not flammable it's not but it really does increase the intensity of a fire or in our case the combustion and an explosion within the cylinders so is it is it really worth um upgrading to a more streamlined uh elbow uh yeah yeah it is but you know what 
would I upgrade the elbow first or would I upgrade the intercooler first? Well, the intercooler creates a lot more dense air because it's an arm charging system from oncoming air while you're driving. Um, this would not be on my top of the priority list. If I had a priority list, I would say that it's going to be for either uh, a type of RAM uh, scoop to attach to your intake housing uh, for your filter or to upgrade your intercooler because both will give you a cooler dense charged amount of air. Um, yes, this does kind of revert that process a little bit by uh, making high turbulence and slowing it down because of that bottlenecking right there. But for the for the amount of money you spend on a new intake elbow, I mean, double that up and you're probably looking at a new inner core anyhow. So is it is it really the bang for the buck to upgrade to a more streamlined um, elbow? Yes, it is if you've already done everything else. I mean, this really should be the last step. One more thing I really want you guys to take away from this is that there are more... Uh, things involved with your air than just simply changing one part here and one part there. For uh, this instance, we have our intake, and this is one of the valves. Um, as the valve opens, you know it it lets in your uh, cold charged air, but your your valve only opens so much. So much air can only pass through there at, at one point in time. That's why it's very, very important to make air more streamlined and reduce its turbulence because we need it to move very fast to get through that small amount of space and as fast as time as we possibly can. So really, I mean, you can change everything you want, but the volume of air really is limited by your valve, um, which, you know, you can modify, but you it's a lot easier to bolt on parts than it is to modify your clearance for your valves. Okay, guys, that's our episode of how and why for today. So hopefully you have a better understanding of uh, upgrading your intake and why Streamline is better than uh, your stock parts because of bottlenecking and curves and so on and whatnot and so forth. So until next time, guys, this is Project Commons. Um, Get at us on Facebook. If you have any uh, projects going on, share some pictures with us. Let, us. let us know what you got going on, you know, at home. And, uh, hey, we'll see you next time.